Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about vitamin D. The active form of vitamin D is a hormone, acts as a hormone in your body. Vitamin D is essential for bone growth and it acts in combination with calcium, phosphorus uh, and magnesium uh, to strengthen your bones. Uh, vitamin D as a hormone enhances and suppresses gene activity and as such it may have a role in certain cancers, particularly breast cancer, colon cancer and prostate cancer. Vitamin D can be synthesized uh, by your body and it can be ingested. It's synthesized uh, from sunlight, using sunlight and cholesterol. Activation of vitamin D is also required for its function and this occurs in the liver and the kidneys. The recommended daily allowance for vitamin D is 15 to 20 micrograms per day in adults and it's recommended that adults take this alongside of around 1000 to 1200 milligrams per day of calcium. You can get this in the foods that you eat rather than using supplementation. The upper limit for vitamin D in a supplement would be 100 micrograms per day. Uh, this, in combination with too much calcium, could harden the blood vessels. So be careful with too much vitamin D and too much calcium. Deficiency is uncommon, but inadequacy is very common in the United States. Up to a third of United States adults, according to the CDC, have inadequate vitamin D in their diets. Deficiency like this in conjunction with inadequate uh, sun exposure can cause osteomalacia uh, and in children it causes rickets. Later in life, uh, people who are insufficient for vitamin D may suffer from osteoporosis. One of the interesting observations about vitamin D deficiency is that the risk varies depending on where you live. In these sunnier regions, uh, with more sunlight hours throughout the year, there's a lower risk to be vitamin D deficient. And in the high latitudes above this red line, there's a greater risk to be vitamin D deficient. Here is a picture of vitamin D deficiency in children. Uh, you can see these bowed legs due to softening and malformation of the bones. And here in the chest, there are these beaded structures, which are typical of rickets, vitamin A deficiency in children. Vitamin A deficiency and calcium deficiency long term can result in osteoporosis. Here you can see a normal bone density, and then as we move over to the right, you can see an osteoporotic bone where there are these large holes where calcium has not been laid down, uh, calcium and phosphorus have not been laid down in the bone. This bone is liable to break easily. So please get your daily vitamin D, sunlight, and calcium. Where should you get vitamin D from? There are a few really good food sources. Oily fish and egg yolks are great sources. Fortified milk is a good source. Um, now recommendations to meet vitamin D uh, can be difficult to maintain without uh, sunlight and without eating fortified foods. Vegetarians, mushrooms are a great source of vitamin D. The sunlight recommendations are 5 to 30 minutes between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. at least twice a week. Um, it's important to get the sunlight on large areas of your body's surface, such as your face, arms, legs, and back, and not to use sunscreen uh, to be able to convert vitamin D uh, in your body. Fish is a great source. Egg is a great source. Mushrooms is a great source. And remember to get plenty of sunlight throughout the week. Thanks so much. Talk to you again soon. This is the references and disclaimer page. 
the reference textbook that most of these uh, videos follow is Understanding Nutrition uh, by the authors Rolfs and Whitney. That's uh, I use the 15th edition uh, by Cengage Publishing. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Nutrition Fast and Fun. Uh, there's lots of great videos that you'll find there. Uh, and finally, there's a medical disclaimer. You should read the medical disclaimer um, to make sure you fully understand uh, your uh, rights and responsibilities. Thank you and have a great day.